بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello and welcome dear students to a new lesson which is on reading Now we are going to read and listen But before you start reading study the following words and expressions Number one blog What is a blog? It's a regularly updated website or web page typically one run by an individual or small group that is written in an informal or conversational style. Go wrong. Go wrong means to develop problems. So something went wrong, it means it caused trouble or problems. BFF means best friend forever. And we usually write BFF in block capitals. Something was ruined. It was spoiled. It was damaged. Obviously means clearly. I should have listened to her. This means I didn't listen to her. When I say I should have done something, it means I didn't do it. It never crossed my mind. It never occurred to me. What should I do to sort things out? What does sort things out mean? What should I do to solve the problem? How can I help her get over it? It means how can I help her recover from that problem? I haven't got a clue. I don't have any idea about something. I say I haven't got a clue about it. Let's first read the questions before we read the passage. And this gives you an opportunity to get an idea about the passage even before you read it. First question. Where did Susie arrange for the get-together to take place. Where did Susie arrange for the meeting to take place? So now we'd like to know where the place. Who did she invite? That's the second question. We want to know who she invited. Third question. How long did her best friend forever stay at the get together? And finally, what happened after her best friend forever left. 5C. Social Beings 1. Read and listen. A. Read quickly, skim, the problem described in the blog below. What advice would you give the writer? Friend Probs blog. The 23rd of May. A surprise that went wrong. I need help. I arranged a get-together for my BFF Karen last night and it went totally wrong. I had organised everything so well. I had invited some of her friends from her old school. Everyone was there on time. It was perfect. I opened the door. She walked into my living room and, surprise, two seconds later, she was out the door and she hasn't spoken to me since. Anyway, everyone went home. And the evening that was supposed to go so well was ruined. I try to call my BFF, but there's no answer. I can't even apologise to her. I know she's shy, and she mentioned to me once that she'd rather not see some of her old friends. But I thought everyone likes surprises. Obviously not. Maybe I should have listened to her. It never crossed my mind that she would react the way she did. What should I do to sort things out? How can I help her get over it? I haven't got a clue. Is our friendship over? From Susie. What advice would you give the writer? She should pay her visit. Susie should pay her best friend forever a visit. She should visit her and apologize to her, promising not to do such a thing again. Now we go to question number one. Where did Susie arrange for the get-together to take place? 
And if you look closer here, she said, I opened the door, she walked into my living room and surprise, uh, she walked into her living room. So the answer is at her house. Question number two, who did she invite? And if you remember, she said, I had invited some of her friends from her old school. So she had invited some of Karen's friends from her old school. Question number three, how long did her best friend forever stay at the get together? Two seconds later, she was out the door and she hasn't spoken to me since. Uh, so this answers the question, two seconds. Finally, question number four, what happened after her best friend forever left? And the answer is here. Anyway, everyone went home and the evening that was supposed to go so well was ruined. And with that, we come to the end of this video.